We had Hobbs, who is a San Francisco guy, getting a massive reaction during this Huge match. Huge reaction. Everybody he wanted him to win. just killing you know dudes left you know and what, right. Though? As much as they wanted him to win, when Takesha had a chance to win, they were way behind him. Well, Takesha was the only other guy that I think they would have accepted winning other than Hobbs. They really liked Takesha. As I did Don they, Callis, who I, was I, walking ba- uh, watching backstage. I think, I think just out of, I mean, I think even though they didn't know him, I think that if Commander would have won, I think the place would have gone nuts. Well, they would have gone nuts after the spots he did in this match because he did one spot where he did his deal where he... It's not like Undertaker where you're getting assisted because someone's holding your hand as you walk the ropes. He literally went from one turnbuckle three-quarters of the way across the ring on the rope and then jumped to springboard on another rope and did a huge senton to the outside. People went crazy for that. He did another rope run into a senton onto a ladder bridge where he killed poor Air Fox. We had Sammy in action trying a falcon arrow off a ladder onto a ladder bridge, but they Whoa, mostly man. missed. And oh Sammy hit God. his head on the back of the ladder. Look, like he killed himself. Oh and man. then they do another bridge, and Sammy climbs all the way up to the top, and he stands at the very top of this very high ladder, and he does his senton off. And he, uh, I mean, put, he put in action were through. just like God. There, there were, there were. I was watching this, and the one thing was just like. These guys are killing themselves, you know, for this, for this, you know. They sure were. I mean, trying to impress the fans, they are going so far. You know, all of them, everyone out there was, I mean, I I think Hobbs was the one guy who was mostly doing safe stuff, but geez, you know, I mean, Takeshi is a million dollar talent and he's doing this crazy stuff. Um yeah, Commander, I thought, great debut. The one thing, you know, because I've, I've watched a lot of Commander of lately, you know, of late, and um, when he would st- stood on the turnbuckle to do those, you know, those rope, the, the rope runs, um, he was nervous. I don't know if it's national television or the ropes or what, because I've seen him do that, and he doesn't hesitate a bit. And he was out there when he was in PWG, so this is this is kind of the mentality because I, I I actually spoke to him afterwards, and 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 he he was one, he's one of those guys you know like you know how the you know how the guys the guys who end up being great wrestlers are the guys who have great matches and when you talk to them afterwards they'll go you really think it was great this is like the Chris Benoit Guerrero thing right where where I would these guys would just tear the house down and I would see, talk to him afterwards and I'd go this thing was great and they just look at me and just go. Well, we didn't hit this right, and we didn't hit this right. And he goes, like, I didn't notice any of this. By the end of this, I was convinced Iron Mike Sharp was the best wrestler who ever lived. He's low-key at first. Like, ah, bah, bah, bah. But he keeps going. He claps. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I got a hell of a ass. <laughs> ah, I'm tall. I'm giant Mike Sharp. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.